Hamba Abnil, Barunji Steven and Muingo Steven are among the many graduates who tried to beat the odds and managed to escape the 87% of job seekers to try and come up with something of their own. However, they say that this was not easy. We had him five, the three, the three are directors, and we have one secretary. Actually, faced a lot of problems with the space and internet. And there is some place we used to go to before we joined this MIIC, and that place uh, it is called uh, Farmers. So they used to chase us in their room, so it could be very bad, and sometimes we could go there when the internet is off. When things became tough, the three parted ways in order to get jobs that they thought would enable them secure funding to support their startup. Some of us first thought of employment, but at a later stage, we, when one of our colleagues whom we credited with informed us about that they were, they were starting a, an innovation hub, that, uh, that, that moment when he told us, it, it demanded for us to reunite again and come and... When Makere Innovation and Incubation Center opened up in 2017, they were once again able to chase their dreams. MIIC is one of the platforms that has enabled us to discover our potential and rediscover our talents. Makere Innovation and Intubation Center is an innovation hub that students started up to help youth turn their ideas into businesses. Being an entrepreneur myself, uh, we had got in challenges of you start something, but you have no help in terms of guidance, uh, what you do from there, uh, in terms of even the funding, in terms of uh, having those different structures. Enrollment at the center is not limited to technology students or graduates. It gives everyone a chance, irrespective of their backgrounds. Whether you are a senior sex liver or you are a seasoned corporate person, let's say 30 years, and you have an idea that you believe the world needs to see, you come to the center, you apply, you go through the process, if you are chosen, you join the center. Get it at a university setup where you find a variety of youth, youth in business, youth in journalism like yourself, youth in ICT, the youth in medicine, which we are very passionate about, youth in agriculture. I mean, we are a university setup and you find youth in all aspects of life. But then our issue here is to support the youth to develop those ideas they feel can turn into business. The chosen go through different stages, such as brainstorming, mentorship, among others. At the end of the day, they are expected to have developed their own companies within a period of one year. It's to ensure that they go through our deal flow. Our deal flow is a structured program. Right from the time we had to meet you here, to the time you exit as a, a company ready to trade out there. That's how we help uh, the youth here. Now, the way we help them, we help them through mentorship and training, to support them financially, and to ensure that we stand by them when they are making their business out there. Some of the youth that have been able to benefit from this program have started up their own companies, which they believe will transform this community. We are researching on agriculture products and creating solutions, technological solutions from IT to support farmers to produce better products that can be exported. Uh, for starters, right now, our current project is the biosensor. It helps to detect organic and inorganic products within agriculture produce. Paul Wikaki, a lecturer at Makere University, says that incubation centers are one way of solving unemployment among youths in Uganda. Make sure and 100% aware 
that this is going to be a very big step towards re changing the mindset of those who think that when you, once you go to school, it's about a job. But then eventually, if you can be among those people who employ others, then employment cannot be entirely reduced. Because even in the, in the first world, there's a level of unemployment. Incubation centers are accessible to every single youth out there who's trying to get a job or create a job for himself. I also don't believe that their products are safe. Once you put your proposal on the table and people are and people have access to your proposal, they are likely to better it or steal it from you because you do not have the protection rights by then. Hubs are a good thing because they have helped so many youth develop different skills others grow their own skills so it has helped them not to just be idle to have at least something at hand as maybe they wait for something better to do innovation hubs are an area through which some people in the guise of uh, innovators and entrepreneurs gather money in for the fundraising of their projects but in the long run the, the youths that are being employed in in this sector they end up attaining no skills and in the long run, they are not fit for the job market.